Hey, good morning. Or good afternoon. Or evening. Or whatever. We're back. And we're laying out the foundation for the lumber mill. Lumber mill is going to go right here. Sort of in front of the gate area. Eventually there'll be a giant castle back there. Eventually. It'll happen. But it's right here in front of the spruce farm, which makes sense. So the basic idea is we've got this L-shaped building, right? And then this space here is like an open air shed where we'll just have logs and whatnot kind of piled and stacked all hither and thither and all that fun stuff. So it's not the most complex of footprints. In essence, it's a giant square. We're just cutting into it. This part here is going to be really tall, and we're going to use acacia wood for the frame. So that's going to be neat. And then this part here is going to come up at a slant. You will see it once I get the frame up, I think. It's it's gonna be an interesting roof line, I think. We're gonna give it a shot anyway and see what we can do. One of the things I'm thinking about though grab my acacia is actually putting the frame and I realize we're wrecking a path block there. But putting the frame in line with this wall and that wall, and maybe even in line here as well. So we've got depth on the front and the back, and we'll have to create depth somehow on the sides. You know, the alternative, of course, is to hit it like that. On each corner. Let me do some thinking and let me do some building and I'll bring you guys back in and we'll, we'll see where we go with this, okay? Alright. Back in a flash. Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm going for here and it kind of does yeah it looks a little bit like the barn uh, except I think that this one has a more severe peak shape to it but it works you know I think anyway it works in the fact that it looks kind of like the barn because you know it's it's a lumber yard lumber mill lumber storage area so you know, somewhat warehouse-y, I guess. So it's going to have this incredibly pitched roof here, right? But then it's just going to slant from there to there. Like this is how low it's going to be on this side. And it'll overhang by one block there. That way we've got this area again is just kind of like an open shed and I think what I'll do is I'll dig up all the dirt in here and throw down gravel and then on the inside so you go in and this is your big warehouse area but then we'll bring the wall across this way put a door here and this is like the office I think it'll work Racer has plans for some crazy, like, storage and redstone stuff that he's going to put on the inside. So I am literally, and this is awesome for me, I am literally just doing the shell, the building itself. And then he's, he's going to come in and make the inside look awesome. So that makes my life so much easier. Put that back gonna need lots of stone for sure uh, da, 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 da. have a little bit of gravel probably not enough yet uh, da, da, da. 
but that'll get us started. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill in the walls. And then from there, ooh, that's actually a good question because if this is going to slant down, this wall is going to be interesting. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And we'll come back and we'll have walls. Back in flash. Okay, so I've got the walls mostly filled in. And just to throw a little flavor in there, I kind of did this like pattern with the regular stone and then stone brick on top of it. I kind of dig it. It like builds up in all of the corners. I like it. I'm thinking spruce wood for the roof because, well, it makes sense lore-wise, giant spruce forest right back here. I mean, whoever owns this lumber mill spent some money to go and farm acacia somewhere for the beams, but they've got this giant spruce farm back here, right? So... The roof is going to be using the most, <laughs> the most uh, wood, so I figure it makes sense to use spruce wood for that. And I'm looking at this, and the inside. Huh. I'm gonna have to work out the inside of the the roof, I guess the, the ceiling, but we'll see what happens. I So far, I like it. It is very tall, so Racer's going to have plenty of room for whatever he needs to do. And the roof line, you know, that's, a, that's an interesting line, I think. I like it. I think it's going to work out, and I think the color palette is working as well. And naturally, we'll knock in windows here and there. But I think it's going to work. So let me get back to it, and I will catch you in a flash. Well, one thing I can say. This place is not small. Oh, get the heck out here. Yeah. You know what? I'm okay with it. I think that's a neat looking roof line. Oh, excuse me. That's a hell of a day. I'm going to need to get lunch going here soon. But, yeah, I it's it's got a neat roof. A neat roof line. I like that it comes down and then flat and then across. I like that. Initially, I thought I'd have just a shallow slant from here to there. But I like this better. I feel like that's going to give us... it. This area is more open that way, and it needs to be, because we're going to stack, you know, logs in there. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Back, obviously, mirrored. Oop, got to get rid of these guys. There we go. And boom, and boom. No windows in the back of the building because, I mean, you're just going to be looking at spruce trunks, so, meh. And there's not a lot going on depth-wise on these outside walls, but I figure I could plant some bushes around here, maybe bring this out a little bit, we'll see put just a basic, you know, mini roof over the windows there. I detailed out the front as best as I could. And of course, we'll have a 
path coming out this way that will meet up with a path that'll go and meet up over there. <coughs> Excuse me. I think probably I should put like a fence or something across here. What's going on in the back? Some uh, just weird lighting. So if you go into the building, absolutely massive. But it's supposed to be going to be a big warehouse type thing. I'll throw windows in. I was thinking maybe gray stained glass. And then this will be the office area, which obviously needs a <laughs> needs an interior. But I think it's pretty groovy. Just some minor detail work that I need to, you know, get working on. I think I'm going to go grab some stained glass. And I will do a little bit more on this, and then we'll call it a day. Did I ever show you guys this? I was kind of happy with this little... I mean, it doesn't quite curve, but it does look kind of neat, I thought. Has a neat roof line, too, so that's always cool. Planted some oak trees back there. Yeah, I think this is working out. Matter of fact, before I, before I get that stained glass, let me climb up here and show you guys what it looks like from above. There we go. Huh? Not too shabby. And you know... I'll cut in a path in front of the lumber mill that'll go down and through here and meet up with that. But then there's space here for something. There's space here for something. We're just going to keep filling in the world until we get over to the big castle. Stuff's looking cool. Alright, again, back on Flash. You know, the hardest part about working in Racer's Castle area is if I want something really nice, for example, this railroad track. Well, I keep all the nice stuff in my house, so I've got to run clear across the map, back to my house, grab what I need, hope I didn't forget anything, and then run all the way back to the castle. Now, that being said, I have done what I set out to do, which means I've run back and forth like eight times because I went and I got gray stained glass, light gray stained glass, I should say, and filled in the windows. And another thing that I did was I just went back here, cut down a bunch of spruce trees, and I've thrown logs all around the place. I also lit up the inside finally so it's not a dark scary cavernous whatever and I threw some logs in the shed area and over here on the side. I was worried about this wall over here but then I just started throwing logs on it and it works. Now this yeah that actually works okay well actually <laughs> using this texture pack I don't know if that works or not now son of a gun hmm I've seen it done in other packs it looks they're supposed to look like tie downs but in this particular pack I don't know man kinda looks well exactly like it is railroad tracks hmm I don't know does that work It 
it's a it's an idea, right? Hmm. Well, put them on a few, I guess, and then we'll just have to just have to see, I guess. I think it works. I think it still works, but it I don't know, it does look kind of weird. Hmm. Anyway, just little detail stuff. So I went in and I hung a bunch of lights to light this place up as best as I could. I didn't want to use torches because, you know, there's going to be lots of wood in here and it's a lumber mill, so sawdust and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, it's Minecraft. I can only do so much with the glowstone. And glowstone's like a whole big block, so it's... It's hard to fit in, you know? So we just gotta go with the with the torches. And that's just what we're gonna have to do. As it stands right now, I think I'm done with this. Like I said earlier, racers gotta go in and fill in the uh inside, but I think it's got a neat roof line. I think throwing the logs on their sides, on the sides of the building there gives it that depth that it was missing earlier. I do think it looks cool though. It looks like what it is, so you know that makes me happy. And it's a neat color palette that, you know, kind of strays from the rest of the village. You know, we don't want to make it too uniform. So anyway, we're gonna call that a video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um so sorry if I sound <laughs> a little less enthusiastic today. I don't know what it is, but I have just been dead tired all weekend. So, I'm going to leave you here. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever the case may be. Stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>